Coming up with the proper result for the carbonate, bicarbonate, and hydroxide test can be very challenging. I want to show you how to go through very thoroughly and make sure that you're doing this correctly. So first we're going to put a drop of carbonate in there, a drop of bicarbonate in here, and a drop of hydroxide in here, or two. And then we're going to add cobalt to each one. So you can do any cobalt solution. I have cobalt sulfate here. And then for comparison, we're going to do an unknown that is not any of the three. So I've chosen a phosphate, which will give you similar results, but definitely different. Okay. Now, what you'll find is that the carbonate and the bicarbonate have very similar precipitates and are probably so close that it's not going to be something you can tell apart. You might be able to tell because they are subtly different. But the key here is you eliminate whether it's a hydroxide or something totally different. So the hydroxide gives a certain color precipitate, our unknown is different from that, and it's also different from the bicarbonate and the carbonate. Now, if you, if you get this down to a hydroxide at this point, you can go through the rest of the testing to make sure it matches up, but basically you're done with that. If you're down to a carbonate and bicarbonate, you want to continue on testing to make sure that you can tell for sure which one it is. So the next test we're going to do is we're going to put some carbonate down here, bicarbonate next to it, then we're going to add to that any magnesium compound. So I have magnesium chloride here. And what we find is we will form a precipitate for one but not the other. Now if we had done the hydroxide and we continued on testing, we would match one of those results. So we have to kind of start with that cobalt test to make sure that we don't kind of fall into a trap where we confuse the hydroxide and the carbonate. The next test you can do is you can go ahead and take all three and you can add hydrochloric acid to them. This one is very unreliable, but it's a good test as kind of a confirmation that you definitely have one of these. So the carbonate and bicarbonate will form bubbles when you add hydrochloric acid. The problem is, is that sometimes you'll get a little bit of bubbling with the hydroxide as well and the phosphates can as well too. And then the last one, we're going to do one more test to tell apart the carbonate and the bicarbonate, and that is adding universal indicator. And sometimes, if it's just right, the bicarbonate will turn blue and the other will turn purple. So here they look very similar and it would be really too challenging for me to tell apart. If I did the hydroxide, it would also give me a violet color. I'm going to zoom in now. So very subtle differences in the, in the two precipitates here, but you can see the hydroxide is different. The unknown doesn't match either one. Down here, you can't see the precipitates, but I'm going to move the background in a second. But here we can see bubbling, we can see bubbling and no bubbling. And then for the universal indicator, it looks like they're pretty much purple across the board. Now, let's get rid of the background here. And so this test here, you can now see that there is a precipitate for the carbonate and there is a precipitate for the hydroxide, but not for the bicarbonate. So between all four of those tests, you should be able to come up with a good idea of whether you have one of the three in the first place, and if you do, which one that it is. But you really have to look at all of them, and you have to really analyze what's, what's going to rule things out. If you match hydroxide here, but not here, then that's not a hydroxide. If you match uh, carbonate here, but not here, that's not a carbonate. 